Grant's hooked up. Look at that fish. All right, we are getting ready to go. Well, we are ready to go. And the setup we usually use up here is uh, a number two octopus hook, uh, Gamagatsu, and then Gamagatsu swivel as well. And then just a bell weight, something to keep your whole rig kind of skipping along the bottom so it doesn't get hung up because there is some rocks down there. But other than that, it's pretty simple. And then we just use fat heads. We used to use suckers, but they would get kind of expensive because you would catch so many fish. And you could just catch the same amount and the same size on little fat heads. And it's three bucks, four bucks to get a scoop. Grant's hooked up. I got a good one right here. Oh, keep putting in the work. Man, that is a big, big smallmouth. Let's <laughs> line out here. So I have him in the Frable Trophy Hall because it is 24 degrees outside right now. So this will um, prevent the fish from freezing up. He barely hooked right there. Look at that fish. We just got the fish unhooked, took a picture of it have it sitting in the basket of the net. I can conveniently hold it by this handle, have it nice and balanced. And we're gonna get it back right here. Not a super fat fish, but definitely a good fighting fish. Look at that release there. So we use the Trophy Hall net, the Conservation Series. They all are included with a rubber coated mesh netting material. And what that does is protect the slime coat of the fish ensure you can release it safely and properly so it can go on to swim another day and we fish for trout salmon walleye a wide variety of multi-species so it's super important to us to make sure that we can conserve the fish so people in the future can continue to catch them uh, for more information visit frable.com thanks for watching give the video a thumbs up hit subscribe and we'll catch everyone in the next video